Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Today we are here back with another video and today we are going to discuss about the condensation silicons. Okay. Now in the previous video we had studied about the polysulfides and we had seen that it had a lot of problem, right? It causes staining of the clothes, it had a very bad odor, okay, and some other problems also like long setting time, somewhat high shrinkage and setting and also a high permanent deformation. So we needed a better material, right? Now, due to that need, we developed the silicons. And there are two types of silicons. We have the condensation silicon, as we can see here, okay, as we will be discussing in this video. And we have the addition silicon that we will be discussing in the next video, okay? Now, what is the difference between condensation silicon and addition silicon? Obviously, the difference lies in the way they react okay in condensation silicon we will have condensation reaction in addition silicon we have addition reaction now why does it happen this is because their terminal groups are different now both of them they have polydimethyl siloxane polymer okay remember both of them they have polydimethyl siloxane polymer but their terminal group is different in condensation silicon, we have the hydroxyl group, as we will see. And in the addition silicon, we have the terminal vinyl group. Now, because of these groups, means these differences, they react differently, okay? So, let us begin with the condensation silicon. Now, as you can see in this chemical formula, we have hydroxyl group, okay? So, this is the terminal group I was talking about, okay? Now, let's jump on to the composition. We have the base paste, okay, and we have the catalyst paste. So, they are also available in, you know, two paste system and also, and also one is putty-like and one is available in tube. As we'll see in a demonstration that we have in this, you know, video or in the upcoming videos. I'll see when we record it, right? Okay, so in the base paste, we have, we have the main constituent, which is the linear silicon, that is the dimethyl siloxane. Okay, so obviously this is the main constituent, dimethyl siloxane. And we have a cross-linking agent which is orthoalkyl silicate. And it helps in transforming the paste into a fairly rigid and dimensionally stable rubber. Then we have the reinforcing agents which is obviously silica, calcium carbonate. And they give body proper consistency and physical properties to the paste. Right? Now talking about the catalyst paste, here you can see we have the orange one right that was the catalyst and the yellow one that is the, I was talking about the putty consistency right. So this is the base paste here, yellow one, putty consistency and the orange one that is the catalyst. So it depends on the brands also like what kind of system they are giving. Okay, now catalyst paste in that we have the tin octate which is the catalyst. We have thickening agent and we have orthoalkyl silicate or tetrahydride which is a cross-linking agent. Now the setting reaction. Now here we have a base paste. As I already told you that both A and C silicon have polydimethyl siloxane but C has hydroxyl group. So here you can see we have the hydroxyl group. And this is the orthoalkyl silicate of the catalyst paste. So this is the chemical formula of the catalyst paste. Let's just go back. Okay. And here we can see this is the orthoalkyl silicate we had in the reaction, right? When we mix them together, the reaction happens and a silicon rubber is formed. Okay. And there will be formation of ethanol byproduct. Okay, so this ethanol, which is produced as a byproduct in the reaction, it will gradually evaporate and it contributes to a rather high shrinkage during the first 24 hours after setting. This byproduct, it will gradually evaporate and it will contribute to what? High shrinkage during the first 24 hours after the setting. 
that is a disadvantage now coming to properties mixing time is 45 seconds to 1 minute working time is 2 to 4 minute depends on the temperature obviously setting time 5 to 8 minutes again depends on the temperature and you know catalyst paste base paste how much you have taken you're taking properly or not etc now setting properties setting times are generally shorter and elasticity is developed earlier flexibility 4 to 9 percent which is less than that of polysulfide so this is less flexible than polysulfide and it has 99.5 percent elastic recovery compared to 98 percent of the polysulfide so it has a better elastic recovery compared to that of the polysulfides now tear strength so the value is three times you know more means you can say that a regular body silicon material it can go about 300 percent extension before fracturing okay so it has three times you know three times means around 300 percent extension before it actually fractures and the good thing is that most of this strain is recoverable now what is the cause of dimensional change obviously it has continued slow setting even after it sets it continues to slowly set then due to loss of the alcohol produced as a byproduct of the setting reaction right and then thermal contraction when the material is moved from the mouth to the room temperature and the elastic recovery of the material is incomplete so because of this reason there is dimensional instability in c silicon therefore if you have to have a very good accuracy the models should be pour as soon as possible after you record the impression but this is not true about the a silicon you can keep the a silicon for even you know few days without distorting they are very stable i'm talking about the a silicon not the c silicon a silicon is very stable you can pour it even after few days and you can also re-pour a silicon so that is why they're very famous impression materials now talking about the consistency so obviously we have a putty consistency we have heavy body, regular body, light body. Okay. Now, how to regulate the consistency? The selection of molecular weight of dimethyl siloxane. So, high molecular weights are used with the heavier bodied material. We are going to use high molecular weight of dimethyl siloxane if we are needing a heavier body material. Then, second is the concentration of the reinforcing agent, that is the filler. The range varies between 35% for the light bodied consistency and 75% for the putty consistency. Okay. Coming to advantages of condensation silicon, it is easy to mix and has adequate working and setting time. It offers the clinician a wider range of techniques for its use. It has better elastic recovery, more pleasant with respect to taste and smell. Oh, I forgot to do this. <laughs> I had to do this right it controls the way we interact with the video okay coming to disadvantages it is very hydrophobic okay hydrophobic means it repels the moisture that is why before taking the impression before making the impression we have to air dry the mucosa the tissues Okay, otherwise we will have blow holes in the impression. In the impression you can find small little holes. So to avoid that we have to dry the tissues. Then it is less flexible than polysulfide. Dimensional instability because of the alcohol byproduct. And it is more expensive. So when we were talking about this hydrophobic. Now manufacturers are adding non-ionic surfactant. Okay. We are adding, means the manufacturers are adding non-ionic surfactant to the paste so that it becomes hydrophilic. So in the next video, we are going to talk about the addition silicon which is also called the polyvinyl siloxane because of the terminal vinyl groups. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.